Hi everybody, welcome in. Thanks for watching. So I'm gonna do um, a reading for you. So I'm gonna do uh, overall energy and then I'll pull some tarot, see what's going on for the Sagittarius energy, for the winter solstice, uh, for the 1212 gateway that's open. Take a moment, pause. Of course, always calling creator of all that is through the violet flame, through the galactic rainbow light up to Christ, the almighty Christ. As I open my third eye and drift into creator and mother, father of all that is, I ask for the Archangel Michael to protect me through the violet flame, to wrap me in your wings, shield me with your shield and use your sword to cut away any and all low vibrational frequencies, being energies, Send them back to where they came from in Christ's name. Thank you, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Metatron for being here with us, guiding us through the Starseed Collective at this time, through the Sagittarius energy, through the Solstice energy. Thank you for guiding us, giving us suggested advice to help us along our way. I thank you. All right, I'm going to light some more sage. going to sage you, baby. I'm going to sage you, sage my deck, reiki it. Sage the camera for your protection as well, 144. When I said that, Archangel Michael is definitely here. He's always with us, guiding us and protecting us. You just have to invite him in. They can never interfere in our life unless we invite them in. Of course, in Christ's name, always. All right, let's see overall energy for the Starseed Collective for the Sagittarius energy as we enter the solstice. My angels and guides and my ancestors, my mom. We have to the sea and why. We have a book here. Do one more card. I like to do things in threes. Actually, to the sea came out first. And why? Clarify more of this book and to the sea. Archangel Metatron, I know you're with me. Oh, I rhymed. Let's clarify more to the sea, which is water energy moving forward. Trusting the flow of things because it's written. You're asking a lot of questions on your journey, a deep knowing. Tick tock, because it's time. Deep knowing. You're seeking, you're seeking knowledge for you, your soul path. Akashic records, I really feel with this card. I'm trying to see the number on it. I just don't want the big overhead light on. It's just so dang bright. All right, this is seven to the sea, which is spiritual. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have no idea. Oh, this is 31. And that is a 43. Which is a six and a four. You're at like an initiation. The Starseed Collective is at an initiation stage of a next level of the deep knowing spiritually on your path. We have an owl gaining knowledge. Some of you connect into your Akashic records as well. To the sea, to the six of swords, you're flowing into the calmer waters, um, deeper consciousness, water is consciousness, water is emotions, water is feelings. Um, you're in this next level of it. You're looking at yourself, maybe old patterns and behaviors, things you've learned along the way. Okay, all right, I'm gonna pull some tarot on this as well to find out what else is going on with this deep knowing and the Sagittarius energy. Ancestors and guides, Gaga, Starseed Collective, 
with this deep knowing that's coming in for the Starseed Collective and the Sagittarius energy. The Archer is all about like messages, energy moving forward. Sometimes it feels like you're going back, but you're just like realigning, all right, to let go forward. Like a quantum leap I'm hearing, quantum leap to the next phase. Could be something to do with quantum physics, the sun, best, happiest card in the dang deck, Leo energy, to unions, two is unions of uh, worlds, realms, um, souls, because we have the ace of cups here, which is love, this is beautiful already. energy for the Starseed Collective. Just going to pull some cards first before I get into the reading. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Here comes the sun. I see. It's alright. I love every one is like for the Ace of Cups is a major arcana. Hold on. Let me just pull a couple more. Well, three of cups into the three of wands, 33. We have twos, threes, and fours, which is ascension. Ascension into the next level of the union within yourself, a union with another. Overcoming so much, you've overcome so much. You've gained so much wisdom and knowledge on your path. We are under a judgment right now. Can't make that up. Justice and judgment. That's the soul, the older soul. To the Ten of Cups. Tens, completions, nine, eight of wands, ten of pentacles, a lot of completions, queen of cups. Okay, so I'm definitely picking up on water energy, a consciousness, a deep consciousness. I'll show you the cards. Really beautiful, happy cards. Okay, taking the knowledge you've learned to move forward. I'll get into these in a minute. You've gained a lot of knowledge on your path. There's the arrow forward, eight of wands, communication, arrow forward, energy moving forward, energy coming in, emotional, with the cups, the rainbow energy, the rainbow frequency. There's a union coming in, like some of you are meeting your person, it's very balanced, they could be Libra energy as well, we have, uh, we have fire, we have water. We have everybody, pretty much. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Sag, Aries, energy. We have Libra, energy, which is air, energy. Libra, Gemini. Um, oh, my God. Come on, brain. And uh, Aquarius. Aquarius is air. Yeah, it's like, um, okay. You've been going through a lot. Okay, you're in this deep space in your soul. You've been through a lot. You've gained deep consciousness and knowledge. You have a really good grasp on what is going on around you. You guys are connected into your Akashic Records. It's written in the Akashic Records. This ancient this is knowledge, ancient knowledge, ancient wisdom, knowledge for you that you have gained for you, the sun. Is here. Ace of Cups into your heart chakra. Okay, the tower. God stepped in. Broke something down that was no longer working. Oh, something popped up on my phone. Sorry. That's no longer working for you to move forward to be abundant. All right, tower is not a negative card. It's a very spiritual card into judgment for you to grow spiritually to grow 
four of wands into stability. Maybe some of you are getting a new home, community, gatherings, which it's the holidays. And then we have three of wands. Go and see, going through a next initiation level, go through the fire in this season of Sagittarius. Victoriously, with the, with the completion of the laurel leaf and the staff of Christ, gaining knowledge for you, your soul, and your path. It's being recognized by the heavens. Justice is here, a truth, balanced, because you're in your truth, you're in your authentic truth. And then we have, you're taking all that you've known, you may be moving as well, some of you may be moving, literally, um, relocating and moving forward. Taking, you know, only taking what you need and leaving the rest. Which leaves you, you know, this is a deep um, Queen of Cups, man and woman, you know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Deep emotional um, healing, very loving and caring. Um, very enlightened. Ten of Pentacles abundant very abundant you're manifesting this in for yourself big time we have uh earth energy here uh taurus capricorn and virgo completions completions as well and endings and beginnings especially with the tower leaving the old past in the past so that you can move forward into your ten of pentacles energy very enlightened. Ten of Cups. Eight of Wands moving forward. That's coming in. This is energy coming in for you guys. For this collective that I'm reading for. Some of you are getting a new home. Relocating to a new home. Due to a disruption um, in your surroundings. Some of this could have to do with the storms that, that just happened as well. Um, the volcanoes as well. Um, for new growth for you, because you're moving. You're moving because of this stuff. Things that were out of your control. Natural disasters kind of thing. Stuff that was out of your control. You're being protected and watched over with the sun. Staying in your heart chakra, true love coming in for some of you. Union marriage for some of you as well. Maybe not officially marriage, but you're, union, you're unionizing with your soulmate. With the three of cups. Celebration. Some of you could be getting married. I am picking up on that as well. Soon, TikTok. I mean, this is a beautiful reading. It really is a beautiful reading. You're being recognized by the heavens for all you've endured. Coming into union at a higher level, see? More than just the 3D into the, into the higher frequencies with the sun energy. That's you to the sea. That, that's that to the sea. It's deep consciousness, spiritual path. See the face. Those of you who see through the veil, you know there's more going on. You have that deep knowing. You know about the time, tick tock, time to nap, treasure island. That you're on a precipice of a new initi an initiation into the next level of your journey. This is really beautiful. We have judgment, which is a 20, which is a union, soul union, soul unions with the three of cups. Justice is 11. Divine soul contracts, I'm hearing, coming together. It's time. Even though time is an illusion, it's time. It's written. Things had to end and break down for this to come in. You guys have done a huge transformation. I mean, this is serious energy I'm looking at here. You have beginnings and endings and unions, judgment, 
you've learned a lot on your path. You're learning to turn it over to be free of bondage of self. We go into the 19 to the 20. That's ascension, baby. To the threes, the trinity, with the six. Relationship with yourself, with another. The queen of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. She's very intuitive, psychic. Not afraid to feel her feelings. Releasing, understanding things are bigger than her or him. Doesn't matter. It's just doesn't matter. Bigger than you. You, you. you understand at a higher level. That's why the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles is here with judgment and justice. You moved on. You don't carry. You don't take along what you don't need. You've learned to be wise and release and let go. This could be right down to material things. Maybe you're selling everything you have. Maybe that's all you have. Travel lightly to move forward. Eight of Wands. Eight is the universal. No beginning, no end. Infinity. This is beautiful. Clarify more the Ace of Cups with the Four of Wands. To me, that's a union with another. Who's coming in for this Queen of Cups? Okay, we have the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? You've been through a lot of trickery and deceit. The crows, you listen. You've been through a lot of trickery and deceit. You've been paying attention to the signs of those who've been deceiving you around you because you're enlightened to see the moonlight. But no one's getting away with anything around you. Sometimes they think they, the other person thinks they are, but they're not. You're not letting anything slide by you. Because you hear, you trust. That's why the bird's here. It's messages you hear. Be mindful of someone, uh, you know, trickery or deceit around you during this time as well. Be careful who you let in your life. Someone is deceptive around you. Let me back away. I just saw it flip. It'll come out. Yeah, nine of swords. This feels like past energy. That's why you have the sun here, the victory, with the queen of cups, and that ten of wands. You've been through a lot. You could be grieving as well. You may be hearing a lot of crows. Yeah, the divine feminine energy here. Yeah. You've learned a lot. You've given birth to a new way now. The three of wands going through that, that doorway with going between the two staffs, you know, victoriously. Let's see how she's given birth. You don't have, you mean you could physically be given birth, but this is, you know, going through another doorway on your journey. Justified. Things are balanced out. Could be dealing with someone that ripped you off in court as well. Could have anxiety about going to court for some of you. That's a few. Some of you could be child support. You're on a higher path now. Yeah, Page of Wands, creative energy, new, act on your, if you're getting inspired, which you are, if the Page of Wands is here, it's communication as well, but um, new ideas, do them, okay? They, they, will, they will turn out for you. It's a, it's a new way, a new path for you. Yep, through the moon energy, with the King of Swords. The hanged man. Your person you're connecting to has been through a lot too. See the two separate worlds are showing me too. Deep water, moon, deep consciousness, psychic abilities. Um, 
It's also mysteries, like secrets, but not always. This, to me, is a very psychic card. This King of Wands is very, I mean, this King of Swords is very psychic. He's in tuned. He's the Swords. He's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Mars, and Venus. He sits in his truth and his consciousness. He's not afraid to. He's this person's, you, you, or your per, you or your person seeing more clearly. They've been through a lot as well. There's a deep freedom here. This is deep connection coming in. It's really beautiful. With the moon energy and the sun. The sun and the moon come together for this to come together. Certain alignments, certain timing for this. Because um, it was written. Ace of Cups. It's being brought in by the heavens. This is beautiful. Celebrations I'm seeing. I'm actually hearing like native drums. Maybe some of you do drum and dance. It's a big celebration. I feel a wedding or a, like a union because you two are together. This is beautiful. This is a significant relationship coming in. You've learned a lot on your journey. That's why. Because it's time. You've gained so much and lost so much, but you didn't lose anything. Because we, uh, you know, it's a lesson. It's just lessons. Things are coming up for you emotionally. They're to examine and visit. Just don't live there. Don't get stuck in this energy. This energy could be around you to try to throw you off. Don't allow it, please. I also feel this King of Swords has gone through a lot. This is a deep bond, deep connection coming in. It's stable. It's a very stable connection. It's a pathway coming in. Follow the road home. You two are each other's home. You two are each other's home. I'm hearing some of you lost a home or some because of the weather, because of the storms. I can't ignore that. I have to say when I hear it. <clears throat> but it's balancing out or it will balance out. You will be okay. You'll be okay. See, no, no one's getting away with anything. See, he thinks he's getting away with something, but the moon is so bright that you can see him clearly. You can see it coming. So be mindful of that. You can see it coming. Don't let anxiety keep you... I mean, you're being... Some big signs are there for some of you. There's a big signs that there's some kind of deception going on around you. And you hear it, and you know it intuitively. Even in the physical world, you may be hearing it. Careful of people gossiping around you. Someone may be gossiping and not talking nice about you either. That's I'm get picking up on that. But you're just over here shining bright like the diamond that you are, overcoming it all. Okay? I'm beyond the spectrum. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope this resonates with you. And if it doesn't come back, because the next one could, I always come with most beautiful intention. Glory, glory to the most high, always. Um, these are messages from the divine. And um, if you have something important going on in your life and you seek, you know, more guidance, um, I can connect in, you know, with the angels and, and help you with that too. Just leave a comment below and I can, you know, pull a card or two on that to help you. Um, anyway, have a beautiful and blessed night. Peace, love, and light. Bye, everybody.